When I designed the practice, it was really important to keep it simple. Simple for the players, but also simple for me to explain. It was also important that I provided a demonstration to give the players clarity on how the game is played, but also time for them to figure out how to play the game. Reds, you're gonna start. You've got to try and play across to the yellows. You can use the whole of that area. You have to try and intercept it. If you intercept it, you've got to try and score. If you score, blues swap out, reds come in, and yellows, you get a ball out the goal at that point, and you're playing that way. If they try and intercept it, you can stop them trying to score. So that's your decision. Yeah, you can enter that zone if they intercept it. Ready? From the yellows, play. Try and get it across, try and get it across. Keep playing, hasn't scored, get a ball play again. When you've got the game going, give your players an opportunity to get a feel for how it's played before intervening and giving them coaching points. Try and get the ball and play quick first time. Hurry! Uh, fellas, just relax for me, just relax. Just go back to where the ball was there for me. Right, so they're doing a really good job of being compact. However, I think they're too compact. And what I mean is this, right? At the moment, you two are shutting off that ball in there. So scanning is gonna be really important. You've heard of scanning from a perspective of being in possession, looking what's around you. Now I need you to know what's behind you as well as what's in front of you from this position of scanning. All right, now, when the ball is in this position now, if I play it between you, that's dead easy. However, look at the distance between yourself and the touchline. So if it goes there where it did, you could probably play in first time. Just take two steps that way. Keep going, one more. Take one step that way, brilliant. Okay, now, if I transfer it, it's gonna be far more difficult for you to play that first time pass. The distance that you are, from this player on the ball means that if I pass it, you guys are gonna shut off. You've got, what, two yards between you? You can move two yards in the space that I try and play that across. Think about how close you are to the person next to you. Yeah. If you wanna play long, you can. If I want to intercept a long pass and I know that if the ball goes in, I can travel in because you were doing this well. So just drop back because you're doing this really well. So you've observed the ball has gone long. What have you decided to do? Brilliant. So you've decided to go and press. If you know it's going long as well and you want to intercept it in the first instance and you can see as it's come along into me, body shape is that? Brilliant. Yeah, you're starting to drop off as a team because you think I'm going to play it first time. If I have a touch, what are you going to do? Brilliant. So just look at the body shape of the person where the ball is coming to make a decision. How close do you get? Or how far back do you get? Do you come in and press? Do you drop off? That's your decision. One more rule. At the ends, you have to play the ball across within five passes. You can do it at any point. After five passes, the person with the ball is not allowed to pass it again. Okay, play. After observing the practice, it was slightly too easy for the players. So I wanted to adapt the rules for three reasons. Number one, to increase the intensity of which it was played from both the attacking and defending teams. Number two, to increase the speed at which the ball transferred from one side to the other. And number three, and most importantly, increase the repetition of the players thinking about intercepting. And um, relax again. Now, I just want to show you something else because you've done a really good job. Just come back in as you pressed that there. Now, I want to support these players behind the ball. So as it goes across, transfer it. So we're too, too keen. I need you to get into line and then go down the line. Now that's stopping that player playing across. What does that mean it's going to happen? Where's it going to go? Yeah, right. So that's one less person you've got to worry about. So what I'm going to say now is you can all come out if you decide to go and press to intercept the ball, right? 
based on what that person does. When you press that, if you go too quick, what's he going to do? Go in there. So the speed in which you apply your pressure is going to be really important to support them to set up what goes on behind the ball. Understand? Play. Consider the age and developmental stage of your players in relation to the complexity of information you give to them. Yeah, keep playing, you're playing. Players a team to score. Yeah, swap, off you go. Ready to get a ball. The next thing I want to speak to you about is deception. All right. And what I mean by that is if you're playing in line with that pass there, what can't he do? What can't he make? He can't make the pass. But I want you to deceive him. Step outside the line. Now what do you think you can do? Right. So you're going to try and deceive him. All right. I call it dangling a carrot. That he thinks he can play that one through. So your distance right, might be a false distance if we're really compact, because you're telling him, go on then, I dare you. So if I'm on the ball now, you've gone actually I'm playing outside the line because you're going to try and step in. At what point do you step in? In my thinking, as soon as your head goes down, he stopped looking at you. So I've looked at that, I can see it, head's gone. There's your trigger to time your movement to intercept. Think about your distances, know what's behind you. Are you going to defend in the line or is it just outside the line? Where's the player behind you? Good, good. I also want one person to come into the middle of the pitch as well. What's that going to do to these guys in here? Right, so you're going to have to start to think, not just what's back there, but what's in the middle here. So you can receive it in front of them if you want. So if you receive it in front, just bounce it to me. It might be you narrow in, and it gives me an opportunity to pass there and around the outside. So you've got some decisions to make. Do you receive it in front? Do you receive it behind? As soon as it goes back in there, you're back in and working with them. As soon as it goes back in, what one are you going to do? Right, make sense? Who's going in, Yellows? Who's going in to help them? One person, anywhere. You can play anywhere. Make it difficult for them. Yeah, good swap. Great finish. Love that. There we go. Good, good, good. Great save. Yeah, let's get a ball. Come play. I love the interception, really good interception. Yes, Blues, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yes. 